Yes. Hello there. So, good, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon indeed. So, uh, who are you? <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Joost. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm the co-founder of the Awesome Foundation, uh, which is a foundation to make Amsterdam more awesome. Okay, sounds awesome. And, and, <laughs> and so, uh, wh so uh, how do you do that? Uh, we got a, a group of uh, 20 trustees and those are uh, people from uh, other companies uh, who work at corporates or maybe they are an architect. Everybody wants to make the city more awesome. Uh, we um, get in 50 euros a person and we uh, give that uh, 1000 euros in total. Um, to no strings attached, uh, free to the best ID of uh, that month. Okay, and, 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 and how did you bring this group together to, to donate, so let's say 20 people each, each 50 euro each? So how did you start it with that and how did you got the idea? Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Daniel Gospert, uh, came up with the idea uh, when we were at a, a drink about and, and um, together with uh, my uh, co-worker Max, uh, we did some, some crazy events like a tomato fight on Dem Square or a disco in a supermarket. And he, uh, he said, well, maybe we, we should do this as well uh, on, a, on a bigger scale and, and uh, enhance people to, to come up with more of, of this kind of ideas. And Daniel came up with the Awesome Foundation, uh, and that's uh, a foundation uh, which exists longer. Uh, it, it comes from America and it has chapters all over the world, uh, basically in every continent. So it, it's, a, it's a global movement. And when Daniel told us about this, this uh, movement, we want to take part in this. We want to let it spread in, uh, in Amsterdam as well. And, and so what, uh, what is your background? Uh, <laughs> I'm a dropout, so I, I did some law school uh, when I was young and naive, uh, but also started my company while uh, uh, we're in college. Um, so I'm entrepreneuring since uh, I was 18 years old. Uh, so I have my own businesses. Okay, and 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 what and what kind of businesses? Uh, we're in the crossing of events and technology. Um, we we do extraordinary events. Um, we we started as having our own events, dance events, uh, for about uh, two hundred to thousand people. Um, afterwards, we did some campaigns for the biggest festivals, and um, that that made us uh, because it was really a uh, crowded market. So we we wanted to do something special, and Max came up with the idea of uh, a tomato fight like they have in Spain as well and uh, do, do that uh, in Amsterdam on Dam Square uh, as, as a protest against uh, the Russian boycott uh, on Dutch farmers and then I thought that Eddie was so awesome and crazy to, to, to do it and uh, about a month ago we did another crazy event uh, called Disco Boodschappen where we transformed a uh, disco, uh, a supermarket into a disco uh, with a disco floor, 40 disco balls, uh, three bars, free beer. Um, we had a, a wind turbine, um, a bowling alley, um, a drive-in cinema. It was it was crazy, <laughs> uh, and and that kind of events uh, with a list of 15 of, of those kind of uh, events and and. We're testing them out uh, to, to uh, see what's going to be the next one. Um, another other part, uh, we have developers. Uh, we make software for the event branch and we use our own software to, to spread it uh, across the people. Okay, sounds cool. And, and, and with the Awesome Foundation, so how did you, uh, because you, uh, you just mentioned how you got the idea, but how did yeah. you get uh, the other people on board to also donate to each 50 euro a month for an awesome project? Um, just, just spreading the word, uh, printed out uh, some, some, uh, some pink posters you see behind me. We dropped them at, at co-working spaces uh, and, and, and dropped the ID uh, in, in our network, at co-working spaces, at accelerators. And just the idea of, of creating something awesome is, is really a manly thing and everybody wants to be involved with something awesome. 
Uh, so this was really easy to get that group together and um, contribute to to make Amsterdam more awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're back again. And uh, what kind of people uh, uh, are there? Also, uh, member of foundation? Are there all entrepreneurs or what, what kind of people? Uh, we are really a diverse group. Uh, the, the common factor is that, that we love our city and and we want to contribute uh, to the city. Uh, and the people are from a guy who has his own uh, branding activation company. Uh, another one is an architect. Uh, another one is uh, accountant at the Zuidas, for example. Um, and another guy has his own internet company. So it, it's it's really random. But the age is, is around 30, uh, so it's all young professionals uh, who have an income and then have 50 uh, euros a month to, uh, to spare. And how did you keep contact with the community? Because uh, I also have a background in crowdfunding and I know about how you can get money for uh, one project, but this is really something that is going on each month. So how did you get, uh, uh, get people attracted to the foundation? Um, the idea is, is what, what attracts the people most um, and you meet like-minded people so it is, it's really an, a network event so the, the, the people love getting there uh, after the first round um, uh, we have got a whatsapp group uh, with all the trustees and they can ask each other questions and, and do, do networking there um, and everybody is, is, is uh, free to leave if they want if they bring another uh, trustee in as well so it's, it's not for a year or two year commitments, it's only for, for two months. And after two months you can, um, you can get a new trustee in. So it's, uh, you're, you're not obliged to, to, to be there for more than a year. And uh, uh, when did you start this? Uh, we started this about one and a half months ago. And we had our first edition uh, last uh, week uh, at, at the rooftop in Amsterdam. Uh, at Spaces, uh, they opening a new location there, and, and we had a view of all Amsterdam, and that was was amazing. Uh, some some beers there with the people, and, and a really energetic uh, group. That sounds good. So, and and, and did you already uh, donate the first one thousand euro for the first awesome project? Yes, yes, we did. Uh, to a kid of eighteen years old, uh, and he has a really cool idea. Um, to launch a, a helium balloon uh, with a camera underneath it um, and launch it at our next event uh, so it goes up the air into space and uh, afterwards uh, when it went into space it makes pictures from uh, after the launch and in space the balloon collapse and, and the box, the box uh, drops down and we have to, to find the box as well and uh, we get awesome pictures of uh, of the city, and in what way do you, uh, do you choose your, your your projects that you will support with your foundation? Um, people can submit ideas on on the website, uh, and what is really important is uh, that people are really going to execute the idea. It's not only well I have a crazy idea and that's it. No, it's uh, more I have this idea. I really want to uh, execute it and I've got a plan to do it, uh, I want to present it at your night. So we pick uh, five of the best ideas and afterwards we go in deliberation with the 20 trustees to, uh, the, uh, to, to choose which idea we're gonna uh, give the money to. So it's uh, all the 20 trustees that decide who wins. And, 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 and is this uh, in the WhatsApp group or, or, or the platform that you, that you are discussing this? Uh, you, you can submit your ideas at our website, it's uh, awesomeamsterdam.org from an organization. Uh, and you can submit your ideas, uh, afterwards we contact um, the, uh, the people uh, by mail and uh, at the event, uh, right away after the pitching, uh, uh, we go in deliberation and, and uh, the pitches get told right away who's the winner. Okay, cool. And, and, and so you're a, a foundation. So, so what, is, what does the tax services think about uh, things like uh, VAT and that kind of stuff? Uh, <laughs> we, we just uh, pin the money. It's, it's just cash uh, right now. So we, we don't pay an VAT or, or something like that. It's just, just a gift uh, from everybody, 50 euros, and then give it to, uh, to the guy on, on stage. And 
is, is, is not uh, that um, that uh, professional or registered right now. It's we're in the startup phase and, and see if it works, if people want it. And the first test turned out pretty well. Uh, we had about 15 uh, people submitting their ID and we had a five on stage. Uh, for the next round, we're still open. So if, if people have crazy IDs and want to make it happen, uh, to make Amsterdam more awesome, uh, please uh, submit as well. And uh, maybe you can uh, come up on stage to pitch it. And what about the global organization? Because uh, uh, the idea also came from America. Do you also got some restrictions from the organization so that, so that you can use the name? Or is this a, a, a complete free concept? It's basically uh, pretty, pretty free. Uh, we had contact with them and they, they wanted to be sure uh, we, we were not making a joke or something. And we built our own website. Uh, so uh, they were really impressed uh, compared to other cities. And um, uh, they say, well, uh, if you need some advice, please call us. And uh, we had some Skype calls uh, with, with Boston, with uh, with London, uh, with some guys in Stockholm as well. And, and uh, the whole community globally is, is really uh, involved with it and they want, want to help you. So it's uh, you're really free and you can always uh, get uh, get some Skype for some advice. Oh, cool. And, 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 and is there also really a professional organization behind or is it just uh, uh, only on volunteers and members of the community all over the world? Yeah, they're, they're all, all volunteers and, and it's uh, decentralized. Every uh, city has its own chapter and this chapter has as a group of people and volunteers who want to, to make this happen uh, and we, we get everything sponsored so it's uh, uh, we don't work with, with any invoices or something. We get uh, the, the, the sound for free, the location for free um the beers as well so it's it's uh the only money what comes in goes to to the ideas uh, that uh that got pitched yeah so it, so it's it's a complete new way of 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 a friend and a network club and then in a, at the same time you're creating and also making the connection between the members by making awesome things happening in your city yes indeed <laughs> totally that cool. cool cool and uh what are your plans for the next coming months? So you said, okay, we're now live for about one and a half months. Do you also get ambitions for other cities or, or are you already promoting the concept in other cities of uh, the Netherlands? Uh, no, we're, we're focused on Amsterdam. Uh, but if, if some of the viewers or readers uh, want to do it in another city, please contact us uh, and we will help you setting it up. And we want to spread this, this word and this idea it is possible to do it anywhere in the world uh, as long as you have just a group of, uh, of, of 50 people. Um, if, you, if you have the 50 people you can, you can arrange a stage, it's, it's quite easy and it's, it's really fun to do because you're turning into a mini investor yourself and then you decide where the money goes and um, it, it's really really fun to do so if, if someone else wants to do it please contact us and uh, uh, we will help you with it. Okay, sounds really cool. So thank you for the interview. Right. I'm really, uh, I'd have heard of it, so I think it's a really awesome idea. And looking forward to who I'm going to talk to uh, next week. So have All a right. good day. Yes, thanks, the same. Cheers.